Hi everybody. In this opportunity, we are going to practice an add another knot in our knot skills. This knot is gonna be done with the Japanese roll 716 15 feet section or 11.5 millimeters or 5.5 meters. So we're gonna use the Japanese rope today to do a new knot. All right. The knot that we are going to do is double bowline. Bowline knot have a lot of variation, but in this case, we're gonna do a double bowline with a bite that do not run. So the bites are going to be fixed. All right, the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rope. You gotta try to put the two ends of the rope even, and we gotta come to the loop end right and we gotta take this loop i gotta be sure that we have enough rope in order to do the knot all right so now what we gotta do is we gotta invert this loop put it upside down and yeah i gotta turn this because i'm right-handed so what we gotta do is we gotta do a, a loop here i gotta twist my hand in this way and I gotta do a loop here from a uh, bottom to top. And I gotta put it in the top of the rope like this. It's gonna be in the top, right? Once I have this, I gotta use this loop and I gotta go in through the loop that I did before. But once I do this, I gotta open the loop and I gotta go, gotta pass it through all the knot and then touch it the rope, the standing part of the rope that I have in here. Now, I got these two bites, that's gonna be the two bites of a knot. I gotta pull them away and tie the knot. And this way, we gotta have a result, double bow line with two bites that do not run, they are fixed. Fixed bites. Double ball line with two bites. Now, let's do the knot at a real speed. Let's take the knot, even, put the knot, do the loop, passing through, Double ball line with two bites. All right, this is what I have for now. Let's see you in the next knot. Boom!